What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through all of Seven Island, and that includes the big old Pokemon Tower that, you know, made us a uh, battle, you know, with speed and all that stuff. Yeah, it was, it was not that fun. Anywho, in this episode, we're going to be capturing a roaming Pokemon, and as an added bonus, we're going to be showing some in-game trades... Because, yes, your homeboy right here forgot about these in-game trades. So, first things first, guys. Fuchsia City, Route 15. This is probably the best place where you can actually find the roaming Pokemon of your selection. Why do I say it's your selection? Well, because you basically sealed your fate when you actually got yourself your starter Pokemon. The, the roaming Pokemon is all based off of your starter Pokemon. So, let's just say this. If you got yourself a Bulbasaur, you're going to get Entei. You get yourself Charmander, it's a Suicune, and if you get yourself a Squirtle, just like I did, you're going to get yourself Raikou, Raikou, I don't even know what his name is, but I'm going to call it the way I want it to, so it's Raikou. And, uh, well, you gotta, you, you have to have a Pokemon at least, uh, well, level 49, and I would have to say around the range of level, level 40. Okay, 40 to 49, because the route or Route 15 will have some Pokemon that are at a good level. And then on top of it all, make sure to have a butt ton of uh, max repels because, yes, we're doing that little trick again. And, well, here we are in Route 15. Let's go right ahead and see what we can do. Now, the other thing, too, guys, is that this is a roaming Pokemon, all right? If you fail to capture this Pokemon, if you escape yourself, it won't ever appear again. So you gotta let it uh, disappear and all that stuff, that way you can actually find it. The other part too is the Pokemon that you, you go up against. Let's just say this, um, if it's Ry uh, or if it's Suicune and Entei, these two Pokemon will be easier, the easiest to capture just because, you know, they, they don't have speed like, you know, Raikou does. And, well, obviously, if you're going against Raikou, I would suggest using, uh, yeah, using the Master Ball and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and continue on right here and move along. Now, this is the best spot to actually find this Pokemon because we're going back uh, to Fuchsia in Route 15. Plus, we got the Speed Button, so it, you know, it, it has been very successful for me. I've tried other routes, but it's just, you know, it's whatever. So, I'm going to speed through this, guys. I will be back until we find, uh, what's his face? You know, the legendary Pokemon right here. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so, yeah. It took me a nice total of, like, what, 10 minutes to locate this guy. And I was literally, literally about to give up right here. I was checking out the other methods, guys. Yeah, I was, I was really thinking about it. So, anywho, here we have Raikou, Raikou, or whatever you guys like to call it. I, of course, happen to get it because, well, I did choose a Squirtle. Now, remember this, guys. If this Pokemon, it doesn't matter if it's Entei, Suicune, or Raikou, if they roar, they will permanently de delete themselves from the game. That'll be it. So, make sure to use that Master Ball, okay? Save that goddamn Master Ball for something else. So, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be capturing this Pokemon with a Master Ball. So, here it is. Master Ball. Go. And... Mm -hmm. I am going to be throwing out that peace sign real soon right here. Look at that. Yes! Throwing out that peace sign. Yes! Okay! So, let's go right ahead and take a look at this legendary Pokemon of Thunder. Raikou. 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 Is it Raikou? I don't even know. Many of you guys are getting uh, annoyed right now by that, and I could care less. Anywho, this Pokemon races across the land while barking a cry that sounds like crashing thunder. And just to piss you off a little bit more, I am going to nickname him the same way I nicknamed this Pokemon back in Pokemon K Crystal. So, uh, yeah, say hello to our good old buddy. Yes. There we go. Raikou. There you go. We cut ourselves a Raikou. Okay, so that right there covers the roaming Pokemon, guys. You only get one, so if you guys want to get them all, like, if you want to get them all three, you have to actually play two separate games just to get them. So, anywho, in the next portion of this whole, this whole game right here, I am going to show you guys the in-game trades 
That way we can complete this whole thing, and then from there, the next episode will be Mewtwo. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Vermilion City, and it is time for the trades. And, uh, funny thing is, guys, yeah, five trades. Five trades alone within this general vicinity. As you guys can see, we got Poliwhirl, Spiro, Abra, Nidoran Male, and Nidorino. Two of the most useless trades I could ever <laughs> I could ever say. First trade is going to be Spiro for the obvious farfetch, and I believe you have to go into this house right here. Hold on, no, not the that's I, why do I always get this house, that house? So if you go right here next to the Pokemon uh, fan club, you'll talk to this individual. She's looking for a farfetch, and or she has a farfetch in order for a or in order to get for a Spiro. So here we are, gonna get uh, the trade. Now, the reason why I didn't do any of these trades right here is because, well, I kind of wanted to convert it into a into an extra episode, but since we're finishing up this whole week, well, we're finishing up this walkthrough this week, I think it would be beneficial just to show it with the roaming Pokemon because, well, I wasn't going to spend a whole episode trying to fast forward everything. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves Chiding. Okay, so I got a little phone call after that. So what is going to happen next is the next two trades are going to be very close by right here. Um, I want to say, yeah, if we go northeast, yeah, if we go east, we got two trades ahead. One being going into the Diglett's Cave and the other one just going straight forward towards uh, Route 11 and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into Diglett's Cave. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a Max Repel. Actually, I've already, I already had that. So let's get the heck out of here. And uh, see if we don't get attacked by any of these Pokemon. But actually, actually, you know what? We're not because our first Pokemon is Fero. We're going to be using that Pokemon to fly around this whole area right here. So what's going to happen is we're going to be making it. Come on, make it, make it, make it. And we did. Okay, so we made it out of Diglett's Cave. And the next trade is going to be right here in Route 2. Go into this house. And what's going to happen is if you go straight to this individual right here with the Game Boy, he is looking for an Abra. He is going to be training it for a Mr. Mime. So there we go. We got ourselves an Abra. Now remember, guys, all the Pokemon you trade in the in-game, the level that you trade the Pokemon to, or the level, uh, the Pokemon that you're trading, its level is going to be the exact same as the Pokemon you're trading for. It doesn't matter what level it is. It's, it could be level 10, 15, 20. They will be the same level. So as you guys can see right here, we got my mind. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. My mind. So there it is. We got ourselves my mind. So the next place we're going to be going to is Route 11. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, guys, back in Route 11. Remember, we've already battled every single one of these individuals. The next trade is going to be right here next to Route 11 in the entrance or the gateway right here. All you have to do now is go straight up to the stairs and you'll find this kid. And he's looking for a Nidorino. He wants to, he wants to trade it for a Nidorino. Now, for me, the most, the most worthless trade that you can ever have in the original versions, including Fire Red and Leaf Green, is the trades of the Nidoran male and female line. Both Nidoran male and female, and Nidorino and Nidorino. That to me is pretty use is useless because we can capture these Pokemon. You do realize that, right? We can capture these Pokemon anytime and we can evolve them. Now, I get that there is a stat boost. There is a stat boost and there is an experience uh, stat boost right there too. But for me, that it's it's one of the most useless trades ever because we can capture these guys. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind seeing a trade where you can uh, get one of the bug Pokemon, or even the dragon Pokemon. I don't even know. So the next place we're gonna be going to is Cerulean City because we got two more trades right there before we uh, move on to the next uh, the next three I should say. Okay, so here we are in Cerulean City. And right next to the uh, Pokemon Center, you're going to be talking to this old man. And he's like, hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you agree to trade it for a Jinx? Jinx is a very, very good Pokemon. If you manage to get yourself a Poliwhirl early on, well, 
Oh shoot! I would say put Jinx on your on your team because it is kind of fast for for that Pokemon. Now the the other the other funny part too is that you can actually breed for a uh, breed for your own Jinx. You know, you can get yourself a Smoochum and then evolve it, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. I don't know off screen or something like that. And there we go. Dante has sent over Zinx. Well, would you look at that, Zinx? And well, that's another Pokemon down. Here we have one more out of the five. So I'm going to fast forward to the spot where we can actually get the next Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are into the underground path outside of Saffron City. And here is the other useless trade. You go to this girl. She's going to be wanting a Nidoran male. And she will be trading it for a Nidoran female. Again, like I said, very useless because <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get either or. Like it's it's one Pokemon in the same. I mean, whoever thought of uh, whoever thought of doing this, yeah, whoever thought of doing this was uh, probably smoking some weed or something. I don't even know. But here we get another. Here we get ourselves another uh, Nidoran, Nidorina. And there you go. Look at that. Sage has traded for Miss Nita. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. And well, let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, these five Pokemon that we've traded for. They all have items in some way. So Zinx right here has the Fab Mail. It is a mild Pokemon or mild nature Pokemon. Ice and Psychic type Pokemon. This is a very strong Pokemon too. And it does have the ability Oblivious, prevents attraction. And well, look at that, it has some pretty good moves. The next Pokemon is Chiding, the or the Farfetch, both normal and flying type. It does have a stick as an item. And well, it does have its keen eye as an ability. The following Pokemon is My Mine, the Psychic type Pokemon. And this guy right here has Soundproof, which avoids sound-based moves. And, well, it is a very good Pokemon for, like, Psychic-type moves. And here we have a Tiny Mushroom a held item for Miss Nito, Poison-type Pokemon. We've already got one of these. And here we have Nina. Okay, so this is, like, again, useless. Very, very useless. I think the only, I think the only saving grace for these Pokemon is that, you know, they... You know, experience share, experience is it, it, its experience will be boosted. So let's go right ahead and take a look at the mail right here. Let's read it. That's a healthy jinx. Be kind to it. From Dante. Yeah, we're probably not gonna be using it. So I'm gonna fast forward because we still have let's see. We still got three more Pokemon to trade for. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here's the next portion of the trades. We got three more, four more to go, and the next one is going to be right here in Fuchsia City. So what needs to happen is if you're playing Pokemon Fire Red, you can go right here next to the cycling road and you'll find an individual that will want to trade you a Lickitung for a Gold Duck. Now if you guys are playing Pokemon Leaf Green, I do believe that you can trade a, you can trade a Slowbro for the Lickitung. Now, Here's another thing that I that, that I looked at when it came to these in-game trades. It was the type of Pokemon that were being traded. Obviously, I have my gri I have my gripes with the Nidorans, but the other ones too are some Pokemon that you can actually find uh, like real easily over at the power plant, over at the Seafoam Islands, or even just like close to Pew uh, uh, to Pallet Town. I'm just I I'm just saying, guys. I really am. Maybe it should be rare Pokemon like Lickitung or something. I don't know. So we got ourselves a Lickitung. The next one is going to be in Cinnabar Island. So we're gonna be, yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, flying our way over there. And I think I, I do believe that there are three Pokemon that you can find right there. So here we are flying over, and you will find them right here in uh, the area where you can actually trade for uh, or revive your Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and find these individuals. I think it's this guy. If you happen to have a Raichu, trade it for an Electrode. And don't worry, guys, these are some, these are Pokemon that, well, <laughs> you know, I happen to train and, or capture and evolve quickly just so I can get these in-game trades. So, as you guys can see, we are trading our Raichu 
or an electrode. It's not like we don't have one. And... Well, there it is. Bam. Look at that. A sphere. That's what it is. That's what it's called. A sphere. A sphere. Well, well, that's a funny name. Okay. So that's another Pokemon down. And I think if you talk to this young lady right here, she will want to trade you a Tangela for a Venonat. So let's go right ahead and go for that Venonat right there. Look at that. Alrighty. Alrighty. So here we go. Take it on that Tangela. And... Let's see, I think there's another one. But look at this. Look at this Pokemon right here. And... Well, there we go. And just like that, we get ourselves a Tangini, or Tangini. I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but it's still something. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, so that's another Pokemon down. And I believe there is one more to go. We have to actually trade a Ponyta for a seal, and I think it's this guy right here. No, this is the this is the individual that teaches you metronome. So, again, we've already been through that. And if you talk to this guy, he's walking away. Nope, he's talking to you about Eevees. And I think it's right here. I don't know. Hold on, just a sec. Right here, right. Looking for a Ponyta. Trade it for a seal. And, well, we got ourselves a Ponyta from one island. And there you go. Garrett trading us the Ponyta. Again, they could have traded us something pretty pretty awesome, like, uh, I don't know. Scyther, Pinsir, you know, Magmar, Electabuzz, some of those Pokemon. Heck, even a, even a uh, fossilized Pokemon that we don't get. I'm just saying. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Seelor. And, well, there we go. We have completed the trades. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here. Tangini does have Stardust, Sassy Nature. Came from Norma. And it does have Chlorophyll, which its speed will be ri risen through due to uh, sunlight. And then here we have Espear. And, of course, it does have the ability Static, which will paralyze a Pokemon. Doesn't have any item. Comes from Clifton. And then here we have Seelor, coming from Garrett. And he does have a Thick Fat. That means it's thick. Meaning heat or cold will not affect it, because it's thick. And then here we have Mark, the Lickitung. Yeah, coming from Hayden. Has its own tempo ability, which prevents confusion. And, well, look at the attacks. It does have Stomp, so that's pretty cool. You know, another Pokemon they could have uh, added as a trade. Uh, yeah. What's his face? Tauros. They make these Pokemon so hard to capture over at the Safari Zone. It's, it's just ridiculous. It really is, guys. So, what's going to happen next, guys, is we are going to be capturing Mewtwo. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a fun episode because well we got no we got no more master ball so we have to go at this uh, with everything we got so along the way we will be trading our Pokemon or training our Pokemon and uh, yeah this will culminate to the final episode which will be the Elite Four so thank you guys again for watching thank you guys again for the donations being sent and uh, yeah. Thank you guys for having all this, all the patience in the world. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.